race sports cars like these, they become alive on a track like this. You always drive above 300, 330 kilometers per hour, and you're, you're flying through there. It's like a, like a roller coaster that you want to do again and again. <laughs> Technology evolved so fast that if there were no regulations, a human being wouldn't be physically able to drive the car because the car would go so fast. Long, long journey just within the Audi family since my first race uh, with them in, in 2000 uh, here at Le Mans. This year we are running the Audi R18, the e-tron Quattro, uh, with the hybrid technology. A lot of people don't know, but the R18 Quattro is a complete new car. There's not one bit that has been carried over from the R18 Ultra. The aerodynamics have been improved with a lot more efficiency. The engine power is been improved. Uh, the hybrid system, of course, got more power and better efficiency as well. So there are a lot of small things that make the car as a whole much better. So the R18 is so quick when you're driving that car, every time that you're inside the car, you, every time you accelerate out of a corner or you go into a fast corner, you just say, wow, this is awesome. Even when you are really in the car, when you are in the quick corners, you just think that's not possible. It cannot be quick like that. The thing I love about the R18 is that it's function before form. It's meant to be fast. It's all about speed. It has to work within these regulations, but it's able to eke every little bit of performance out of its weight, its aero, and its engine. All of that while pushing all new technology that'll eventually make its way onto the road. It's always small steps, fine tuning, detail work, and it's constantly going on. Every time the cars roll out on the track, it gives us feedback. And the engineers, they don't sleep. And uh, this combination, I and mean, in this passion, uh, teamwork and, and technology progress. Teamwork is the key part of making a game like Forza. Turn 10 is a much stronger team than they were five years ago, 10 years ago. We've learned so much. We have a huge team working on very specialized, different components. They have to be able to have the freedom to innovate, come up with their own ideas, while still staying true to where we want to go as a larger vision. We bond as a team very, very well with, with my teammates and the mechanics, so we make sure we, we are in this bubble where we feel really strong and all the pressure from outside doesn't, doesn't affect us so, and we can deliver the purest performance. My love is also the teamwork and the team spirit you have within a group of people trying to optimize a car by unbelief. Obviously, we're designing a race car in general and the R18 in particular. You have so many areas of specialists that you need, that you have to work in a team. One guy can never cover all of them. Having a partner like Audi allows us behind the curtain access to test data, to all of their engineering and how they actually build an amazing car like the R18. Our goal is to recapture the, the fear and the precision and the mastery of driving a car like the R18 on a track like Le Mans. We have this beautiful game running at 1080p, 60 frames per second. The cloud enables us to change the game all the time. New content coming into your world so players can be immersed in the light, the violence, the feeling of racing. Now everyone can share the passion of, of driving this car on a very, very high technology level at home. And uh, I hope that they will be just as fascinated as I am when my blood and adrenaline is pumping when I'm sitting behind the wheel in the Monaco. When you stand on top of that podium, uh, first of all, you're proud of what you did and to share this with your mates and to stand on top of this, you, you look at each other and say, wow, oh, we did it. And I think there's no podium like this in the world. This is really passionate work. It's not only driving. To see your car uh, to be with your name on it, on the game like that, it's just, it's awesome. You know, when you were a kid, it's still the reaction of the kids I know. 
he said, oh, that's your car. Your car is in the game. That's awesome. And this, this is really nice. Only on Xbox One. When we start the concept of uh, coming up with an idea for a new car, it's probably the funnest part of the whole process. The limit. McLaren has made some legendary cars, like the McLaren F1, held the production speed record for nearly a decade. The 12C, an amazing road car, and now the P1. So as I've worked on this franchise, I've fallen in love with a lot of cars. In fact, this is sort of a dream job for someone who loves cars because we remake and recreate cars. So right now, my infatuation is with the P1. I love it because we now have to look at how we simulate the physics that are happening in that car in our game. Uh -huh. the, the hybrid nature of it, how the suspension is architected, that actually has to be reproduced in the game, and that's a really interesting challenge. The combination of being able to make an object that works so well is a combination of art, uh, nature, and science, where you can get something looking beautiful, performing beautiful, and finding out how to actually make it work. With cars like the McLaren P1, it's not just about top speed. In fact, it's more about how quickly it can go around a track, bending physics to its will. Really interested in how technology influences design. In Forza, We've had a lot of ideas, things we've wanted to bring to light for going on 10 years. Having learning opponents that, through cloud learning, can actually mirror human behavior, you know, bringing a humanistic opponent into your world, that is uh, that's kind of the holy grail it's of gaming. It's much more, much more comprehensible in, in a human sense, mm -hmm. basically. I mean, technology is always changing. It's given us new, new borders, new frontiers, new limits, and. Uh, and then we're trying to crash those limits, too. On Forza Motorsport, we're obsessed with detail, getting every last detail right. Because it's the collection of those details that give you the rewarding and immersive experience. And in this way, we share a cultural component with McLaren. They sweat the details as well. How the aerodynamics creeps over the car. It's about form and function at the same time. We're, we're trying to develop what we call the uncompromised car. Uh, we don't accept compromises. The whole concept of perfection is unattainable, actually. I mean, you can pursue it, obviously, but you can't really attain it. To me, the thing I focus on the most is the ideas we leave behind. I love that, that process of throwing things away, working together, coming up with new ideas, iterating, evolving, that idea of evolution. We found in Forza 5, the best way to get towards perfection was to look at imperfections. What makes a car relatable? What makes it look human and real? And that came from the human hands that made that car. It came from the process that went into making it. And we've been waiting for technology to come along that inspires us to push that boundary even further. Something that we never could have done in the last generation. There's so much processing power, it's really a, a new territory to explore. Only on Xbox One. in 2010 when uh, we started. But the question was uh, how to, to do something completely new, yet absolutely Ferrari. La Ferrari uh, represents the pinnacle of the automotive industry. For fans of motorsport, we're yet again bringing an exclusive car, Forza Motorsport 5, with a partnership with Ferrari. Their mix of aesthetic style with performance is exactly what we try to hit in Forza Motorsport 5. Spending time with the team at Ferrari, talking to them about what the feel is in the cars that they build, and getting their feedback about the cars that we're putting in the game is critical. 
We're reaching a level of fidelity that we've never seen before, a level of fidelity that adds almost hyper-perfection to the cars that we're putting on track. The LaFerrari is an hypercar that will be in the world of less than 500 units, so that no compromise is made on the single system, but every element is pushed to the best of its potential. The wish of everybody working on Ferrari is to make something timeless. On Xbox One, we're able to put over 1,500 different materials in a car with over 12 times the level of detail we've ever seen to bring to life a car like a LaFerrari. Uh, we are used to work on, on digital modeling every day. I have to say that the quality is unbelievable. It's a possibility for everyone to drive a car like this with such a strong feeling of uh, reality and, and emotion. We want people to sit inside the cars and feel like they're actually inside the real car on fantastic tracks around the world. There is a fantastic quote of Enzo Ferrari that inspires us every day. The future is in the hands of those who know how to foresee it. Only on Xbox One.